Hello, you beautiful soul. I heard you want to know what to write in a journal, what topics to even write about. Well, good thing you stopped by here because I'll be sharing with you seven topics that you should consider writing about in your journal. And this is also a great way to even know how to start a journal. So let's get into it. All right, the first topic is a fairly simple one. Think about it as like a dear diary. You're just writing to yourself. So you are basically writing to yourself about your day. So dear diary, today, blah, 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 blah. So write about what happened in your day, how you felt during your day, what you did during your day. And let's be honest, you can write both the good and the bad that happened on that particular day because, come on, we're all human and we don't always have good days. So make sure to write the good and the bad down, plus it'll just be fun later on to see what even happened during your day. Again, the bad and the good, I write it all down. So yes, this is a simple dear diary to yourself, writing out just your day out to yourself. Now let's go on to topic number two. Now topic number two, I just wanna let you know right here and now that this is for someone who is spiritual and has faith in God. Now, if you don't, no worries. I still want you here. Just go ahead and skip on to topic number three, the next topic. But if you are someone who's spiritual, topic number two is for you. And this one is writing. So it's like the first one, writing to yourself, but writing to God or whatever greater being you believe in. The anything greater than you that you believe in go ahead and write to them in my case i believe in god so i like to write to god basically a dear god and this is what happened throughout my day and just basically venting out to him throughout my day what i loved about my day what i didn't like about my day what i wish happened differently or what i was really happy that happened that day so again it is similar to writing to yourself dear diary but it's just fun because you know you're writing to god and it just honestly feels like you're writing to your best friend and that's how you should see it as writing down to your friend just letting you know hey this is what happened let me tell you kind of thing so yes but on to the third topic now all right, so topic number three B, write down your ideas, your imagination, your visions that you have. Write those bad boys down because in reality, no one else can see those but you. So this is a great way, especially if you are struggling to know your purpose in life and what to do with life, write down your ideas and your imagination and again, your visions because they are uniquely yours and they could definitely help you out to strive you in the right direction as to what to do with your life. Now, of course, if you don't want to see it that way, that's perfectly okay, but still writing down your ideas, your imagination, and your vision is just a great way for you to see what's going on in your thoughts and in your mind for yourself. But on to number four. All right, topic number four is writing down your goals small or big goals and, and no it doesn't have to be the end of the year the beginning of the year for you to write down your goals and want to accomplish them so whenever you're feeling like you have a goal in mind go ahead and write that down again small or big for example a small goal can be i want to make sure i make my bed every day for this whole week or you can write down a big goal like i want to start my own business or again a small goal simple as i want to make sure i drink more water this week or a bigger goal again i want to make sure i save up this amount of money by the end of the year so again small or big it doesn't matter write down your goal and this will help you to keep yourself accountable so you can look back especially for small goals you can look back throughout that week and see if you accomplished it 
and again if you did accomplish it keep going for it if you didn't don't be so harsh on yourself if it's a right just try again until you accomplish it but yes big or small goals write them down they matter but on to topic number five all right topic number five that is to write down what you are grateful for this could be especially helpful for those days that you're feeling low and not feeling so good about yourself this is a great way to just boost yourself up you can definitely still write what you're grateful for when you're in a good mood but i'm telling you this definitely helps you when you're in a bad mood to make you feel better because there's so much things that you can be grateful for even just writing down simple like i'm grateful that i can see that i can hear that i can taste just you realize how much things you really do truly need to be grateful for and it just helps you that much more to feel overall better but alrighty, let's get on to topic number six. Alright, topic number six is writing down your current interest and hobbies. This is definitely a topic that you write down at the moment and then you look back at it months later, a year later. So you definitely it's one of those things you compare later on and you're like, oh okay. So you see if you've evolved or if you've stayed the same, either or it's just fun to see. So you can write down what your current favorite music is, what your current favorite food is, who is your friends at the moment. If you have no friends at the moment, I feel you, no worries. A same year. <laughs> but or who you're in a relationship with at the moment what you like doing if you like hiking at that time or if you are really enjoying reading at that time whatever it is write it down so later on you can compare to it and this is just more of one of those fun topics but okay on to topic number seven mm. okay topic number seven last but definitely not least because this topic is one of my favorites, if not my most favorite of all. And that is to journal about your dreams. So yes, that is definitely one of those, like you have a journal right next to you where you sleep, ready with that pen. And when you wake up, journal that dream down. Because if you're anything like me, you can easily forget your dream if you don't write it down. And I find this one so fascinating because even myself i've journaled dreams and i'm still trying to think about what it even meant or if it really even means anything it's just it's so interesting like i literally had a dream that i journaled down and it was me seeing a cloud and on the cloud it said science and to this day i have no idea why i dreamt that that was so random i'm still trying to be like why did i dream that <laughs> or i had another dream where it was a bunch of women and they were trying to save me from getting taken away by like this evil wind or ew, that's a crazy dream but <laughs> and i feel like that one i can kind of see why more i feel like possibly because i'm trying to create a community of beautiful wonderful women just like yourself you know <laughs> and i feel like maybe i dreamt of that for that reason but again, writing down your dreams is, uh, it's just so interesting what you dream about and dreams, you definitely forget them right away. And if you don't write them down, I don't even know if you would ever really remember them unless it's a super memorable dream. But yes, write down your dreams. You will be so intrigued by what you dream about and just later on reading it and you're like, wow, okay, cool. But alrighty i truly appreciate you tuning in and since you're in the topic of journaling i would like for you to go ahead and check out my journaling for beginners video i share easy steps on how to start journaling go ahead and click on it it's right there for you but alrighty again thanks so much for tuning in if you found this video at all helpful please go ahead and like this video and let me know comment down below what is your favorite topic which one of these topics is one that you're like okay i'm definitely gonna start journaling about that 
let me know down below i would love to know and of course subscribe to your girl because i would truly appreciate it but all right i want to leave off by saying be kind to others but most importantly be kind to yourself and now go let yourself